been coming here since I think it was 1973 on a school trip and um, love coming back all the time I mean how couldn't you you know it's it's there's music in the bush here I'm excited a big adventure looking forward to it we we'll just go ahead make camp find out where the good water holes are go and have a look around the countryside just wing it that's all we're doing well, the reason why I'm doing this walk to support the purple house and to raise money for dialysis is because it is a major problem especially here in the western desert and the western desert is a place that's very dear to me because I've been coming out here since the early 70s and I've seen the effects of, of you know, kidney disease and it's terrifying. It's terrifying to go into the, the unit in town there and see you know, 30 people hooked up to blood machines. No uh, good cause, he's doing it for I wouldn't mind going along with him for a bit of the way but anyway I've got to get home. <laughs> This is a course that not many people in the cities know about. This is a, you know, you ask people what renal disease is, you, you ask them what dialysis, they've got no idea. So the reason why I'm doing this walk is to actually not just to raise money, but to educate people, um, especially in the cities, the fact that it's a problem, it's on their doorstep, it's, it's, it needs to be supported by somebody. So if we can, you know, for the sake of me walking 1,300 kilometres, if that's what it takes to get something on the television or something in the newspapers which educates the greater community on what dialysis is, well, I'm prepared to do that. I'm Sarah Brown and I'm manager of Western Desert Ngunnawalcha Palinjaku Jitiku Aboriginal Corporation. The role of Western Desert Dialysis, as, as most people call us, is to improve the lives of people on dialysis and get them home to their bush communities rather than stuck in Alice Springs. And the Purple House plays an important part in supporting people in Alice and helping to get them home. The history of Western Desert is that in the late 1990s, people from Kintor and Kirikura so in Northern Territory and WA were really worried about their family members who had lived out bush all their lives and were slowly getting sick with kidney disease and were having to move away from their community and all the way to Alice Springs to get treatment. So these important people to their community um, who'd fought really hard to get their communities up and going were suddenly being forced to leave their home and leave their country and come and live in Alice Springs just for dialysis. No, it's really good, you know, they can go back to home, back to family, and you know, to dialysis there, close to family. <laughs> and so people started to ask why there couldn't be a dialysis machine in Kintor, so that people could live on their community and couldn't get any government support. And so with the help of Papunya Chula, artists and Sotheby's auction house, they painted some big collaborative paintings. And there was an auction at the Art Gallery of New South Wales in November 2000, and they raised a million dollars to do something for their mob on dialysis. Papunya Chula's association with the Purple House and the Western Desert Dialysis Program began in 1999. Uh, 49 different Aboriginal artists own this organisation. The money that's generated is essentially funnelled directly back and that goes back in many different ways. One of those ways is of course through our um, program that we set up 10 years ago which was establishing the, the dialysis unit. So we came up with the idea of um, trying to design a truck where um, the truck would be able to travel to wherever people wanted to dialyse. The van's now being fitted out in Adelaide. Um, as soon as the interior is done, we're going to organise some artwork to go on the outside of it. And it will be hammering across the corrugated roads of the Western Desert uh, to treat people who need dialysis.
We'll travel around, get people home, and also be able to be in communities for important community events and sorry business and other things that people really need to get to. When Ken offered to do this amazing walk to raise money for us, then we suggested this would be a really good way that he could help by raising money towards the running of the truck. It's a mighty effort to put your hand up and say I'm going to walk a thousand kilometres to Kiwikura. Any form of service delivery in remote Australia is expensive. I'm sure it'll be put to very good use and it'll be greatly appreciated. Really looking forward to getting to Yuanamu. It's probably still it's 100 kilometres away, so it's you know, two and a half days away. But it's, I'm looking forward to getting there because it's going to be the first community. I feel like that's the I've reached the first destination, and um, I always hope that if I reached Yuanamu in reasonably good condition, then I wouldn't have a problem um, during the rest of the walk. So it's looking good. It's positive.